Okay. Hi. Uh, just for the record, my name is Ed Clendenin. Um, I'm with the uh, 376 Veterans Association. Today is September 6, 2007. We're at the, the uh, Veterans Association annual reunion in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And with me today is? Alphonse Izzo. And uh, where and when were you born? 12, 29, 19, uh, Cranston, Rhode Island. Cranston, Rhode Island. Yes. And you were a member of the original Halpro contingent, is that yes, correct? Yes, I was. And whose crew were you with? I was on crew number 17, a lieutenant. It was uh, uh, Terminal Brown and William DeWire. We have a seven-man crew. Seven-man crew? I could name you all if you wanted to. Well, we might get into that later. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, where were you in the army when Pearl Harbor happened? No, I was still a, a civilian. Civilian, and what were you doing at that time? At that time, I I think I was dancing at the uh, <laughs> at the ballroom. Ah, okay. And that's when I found out that Pearl Harbor was bombed. Now, did you enlist right after that? I enlisted the Gen uh, uh, January the twenty first, nineteen forty two. Okay, and where did they se send you for basic? I went from, well, basic training was Boxdale Field, Shreveport, Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay. Yeah. Now, the 98th Bomb Group was at Boxdale. Were you, did they assign you to the 98th? I was assigned to the 98th, yes, uh, at, uh, at Fort Myers. Oh, at Fort Myers, Florida. Yeah. And uh, what training, you, you were a tail gunner, is that correct? I, I had a training at Las Vegas, Nevada, six weeks of training. Okay. Uh, at the air firing. Mostly air to air firing. Air to air, training okay. Training to tow targets, yeah. Okay. And that was about six weeks. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you went went to uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and then you went to Barksdale after that? I went to, no, I went to Fort Myers. Then you went to Fort Myers That's from, right. from, from Las Vegas. That's, yeah. Okay. Um, when did you hear about HALPRO? Or how uh, did you hear about HALPRO? At the 98 Bomb Group when I came back there. My name, I was assigned to a crew. Okay. And uh, That was Thurman Brown. Thurman Brown, yes, was assigned to a crew. I never knew anything about Alpro, not oh. at that time. I did not know. Okay. No. And what did they tell you when they assigned you to the crew? When I signed to the crew, they told me that uh, I think we were supposed to go to a China project, to China, and, uh, and do a bomb admission in Japan. Okay. That was that, and uh, it's about, uh, yeah, I was signed to the crew, that was it, and uh, I can't think of any, but I didn't, never knew, they told us it was like a volunteer group, volunteer, okay. that we could drop out, we don't have to go in combat. Okay. Uh, this is what, uh, what they told us. Okay. And I don't, just a few did drop out, but I don't, the majority of them stayed, 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 stayed with the, with the crew. So when they formed the, they formed the crews in Fort Myers, Florida. Fort Myers. And how long did you train as a crew? I say about maybe three weeks or four weeks three the or most. Four weeks? Yeah. F flying at high altitude. And you flew Dragon Lady, is that correct? Yeah, Dragon Lady, ship number 17. Ship number 17. Is it, did you train with that airplane, or did you train with any airplane that was around? I trained with that airplane. With that airplane? Yes. Is that the airplane you flew overseas? Yes, on? we flew from, uh, from Fort Myers to, to West Palm Beach to Trinidad, you know, Puerto Rico, Natal, all, all the way to Africa. So, in a, so this was April of 42 when you were in Fort Myers? Yeah. So you were, were assigned Dragon Lady. Did, yep. did you guys name the plane Dragon Lady, or was it? I named? don't know. Someone named it. Someone in the named group. it. Yep. Did it have a picture on it, or? Uh, no picture. We didn't want to have the enemy to know that on that plane. Though, they say uh, you have something on that plane. They could communicate one another and and, and tell them what plane they hit. Ah. Whatever you have on that plane I could see. be uh, could be any any. Okay. It could be any. So all you had on the airplane was number was just 17? just 17, that's and right. it was Dragon Lady painted that's on the right. plane? That's right, that's it, nothing else. Okay. We've been told not to put anything on the plane. Not to put nose art on the plane. No, no cartoons on the plane. Okay. No. No. So you were at Fort Myers, you formed as a crew and you trained, then you flew to Morrison Field, Florida? In West Palm Beach. Oh, West Palm Beach, okay. Yeah. And then how long were you there? A couple uh, days? I, I just say about a day. We, we, 
a day. We left there the 22nd uh, or the 23rd of, uh, of, of May, 1942. Were you in the flight A, B, or C? B. You were in B? C flight, a B flight. B flight? Yeah. So you were the second group to second leave? Second group to leave, eight planes. And what was, it, what was the flight over? Uh, the flight going over, say, is we, we, we went from, uh, like, from Brazil all the way to Africa, 14 hours flying with uh, thunderstorms. That's about it. Okay. Otherwise, smooth sailing. Smooth sailing? Because yeah. I had heard one of the, some of the crews ran into a big storm. We did, oh, yes. Oh, you did? We were okay. bouncing like hell all over the place. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, so you arrived in, um, where did you land in Africa? Uh, I, it was at the Gold Coast of Africa. I don't know whether oh, okay. they could be Guam or Guam. I don't know. So when you left the United States, you thought you were going to China. That's right. We're still going to China. So when, and when did you find out you weren't going to China? Uh, when most of the ships were in, the, some of the ships were in Pakistan. Uh -huh. And when, uh, when the German broke through, through Tripoli, Benghazi, uh -huh. Tobruk, the order came through that all available aircrafts and, and merchandise and what equipment is to be, to be, to go back to Fayette, Egypt, assist the British State Army to go okay. back to Egypt and assist them in bombing the German supply lines. Okay. They said you only could pull one mission over Japan. Okay. They sent everybody back. Kind of like the Doolittle, you were only going to fly one mission? That's right, one mission, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Were you disappointed that you couldn't go to I, Japan? Or? I did not know. Uh, I did not know. I was not disappointed uh, okay. because I was still was, I was in Egypt. Okay. Because our plane had a gas leak. Ah, okay. So you missed the first mission? I missed Palais de Romani. We had a, we, a B-17 on takeoff, we had a, a gas leak. Okay. The cell, again, cells in your aircraft, wing cells, whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. Then we switch from 17 to a ship number 15. Okay. Now we're on the runway to take off gasoline leak on another ship. We went back trying to find another ship. There were five other ships all grounded because of gas, gas problem. Leak. Five ships were grounded? Yes, five ships. So you, you tried numbers, to take the off? Numbers, do you, find, will, you will find the numbers in here. Okay. So flight. you you were going to fly number 17. Yeah. It had a gas leak. So you taxied we, back, yeah, got when, number 15. 15. And it also had a gas that leak. That had a gas leak on the runway. Meanwhile, were the other planes taking off? Yes, the other planes were taking off. And some of them could not make because of gas leak. Okay. Yeah. And then finally, somebody just decided you, you couldn't have, there was no airplane to there have. There was no right? airplane to take off. That was it. Okay. Yeah. And so you guys waited for to find out about the other planes or, or what happened? It happened that some planes didn't make it back home. I, I don't know if there were three or four planes landed in Turkey, Turkey. ran out of gas, and mm -hmm. I believe one made a crash in, uh, make a landing in, in Iraq or Syria yeah. out of gas. So, so meanwhile, did, they, did you fly in the second or the third mission that... Halpro flew. I flew in the first, uh, the second mission. The second mission. <coughs> that was Benghazi. Yeah. That was a bomb. <coughs> yeah. Benghazi Harbor. Benghazi. Yeah. Had they fixed the fuel leaks in the airplanes by they then? They still had problems. Right. I could talk to you as as we kept going out for month after month after month, nothing but gas leaks. So on five you, planes we had gas leaks. So did you fly number seventeen on that on that mission to Benghazi? Yes, I did. Yeah. And it was leaking fuel when you guys flew the mission. We're coming back. Yeah. Okay. But from there on, yeah. Okay. 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 We had, yeah, we, we made it back, back to the base. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, at, so at this point in time, you were going to go to China. They, 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 they sent you up to Egypt because of Rommel running around the running desert. Running around, yes. And then you ended up staying That's for, right. for the remainder yeah. of your time. In fact, the whole 370 Halpro stayed, never stayed left. Stayed number one, yeah. Okay. And mostly all, all, all night missions going to Benghazi. Okay. For the first six or seven missions, night missions. Night missions. Yeah. Okay. And did the, was the Brown crew, I mean, you flew with the same crew the whole time? The same crew all time for, for, for 17 missions. For 17 missions. Yeah. What happened on the, what happened after the 17th or the 18th? By the mission? 17th, around, a, uh, I say about the November the 3rd, the group split up. Okay. It split up because we're losing too many new members, like the Lady Be Good, and I feel like, you know, these all new members coming in, uh -huh. they were not making it. We had, so they split us up and we kept an eye, and each other kept an eye with that group, and we ah. split up. Co pilot, co pilot, and uh, 
So the, since you guys were quote the veterans, we had unquote. to keep an eye. Yeah, we were seventeens. We 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 had a we had a, we were we had our time in. We we had you were experience. experienced. They did not. I see. Yeah. Now, did you stay with Brown, or were you, or did you stay? No, with I Dwyer? didn't stay with Brown. My co-pilot became became my pilot. Dwyer. D Dwyer. He became okay. a pilot. Okay. And then you stayed with Dwyer. Dwyer for the rest of the, the rest of the missions. And uh, when when did you fly your last mission? Uh, it was Messina, Sicily. Messina. Yeah. Was that April of forty three? That was in, that was the, in the month of uh, could be the month of uh, May nineteen forty forty two, could be. Okay. Uh, could or maybe the end of April, one or the other. It's pretty pretty hard. Let's see. Let me see. No, let go. Four thirty. The fourth month. I'm sorry. The fourth month. April thirtieth to the fourth month. Yeah. Messina. April thirtieth of forty three. Yeah. Okay. That was your last mission. Yeah. We lost two engines. Wow. We, we lost two engines. We went down. My pilot was smart enough to turn around. Instead of going back to Africa, he turned around and he went towards Sardinia. Okay. Until the sunset, darkness, we turned around to get away from the fighters. Uh -huh. And we came all the way back to Africa. But we landed in Tobruk, not Benghazi. We were called in. We were missing in action. Really? Yeah. Okay. We're 300 miles from Benghazi. Now, was this Dwyer? Is the Dwyer, pilot? yeah. Dwyer we went was to your Brook. pilot? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, and the plane landed at Tobruk? Tobruk, yes. So the Allies had t taken Tobruk by then? Yeah. Then they had to repair it, and the next day we went back, we went to uh, Benghazi. And you flew it back to Benghazi? Yes, and that was it. That was my last mission. They told me, about a week later, they told me, you completed your time, 301 hours over enemy territory, you completed 31 missions, you're grounded. We're sending you home. Ah, and how did you feel about that? Well, I, all I had is just the clothes that I wore. I left everything behind. Ah. I turned my parachute in and my 45 okay. and two rounds of ammunition. Did you take a boat back? Did you fly back? Fly. Fly back? All the way back, yeah. And did you go back with the other members of your crew? Yes, with two others. Not, not with my crew, but with two others, uh, other crews that other. I knew they, they were, yeah. And, and when did you, so you arrived back in what, May of 43? 43. We went to uh, West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach, the yeah. place you started from. That's right, yeah. And what happened to you then? Well, they, they, gave, they gave me a 30 days uh, furlough. When I came back, they relocated me. Uh, B-25 unit up in uh, Walla Walla, Washington. Okay. And I stayed there for a while. Then they relocate me to Stuttgart, Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas, as a fighter group there. Okay. Yeah. So did you become an instructor? Or? I was at a, I was mostly an instructor. Okay. At a, uh, uh, instructing out of mostly officers how to disassemble 50 caliber machine guns and reassemble it blindfolded, like an instructor, yes. Did, did the other, I assume most of these other people had not seen combat that you were instructing? They'd teaching? never seen combat, they were like rookies. No, so, they, they just come out of school. So did the guys ask you about what well, it was like did. to be? We explained to them what they were going to expect when they go there. We and, did. And how did, how did they react to that? Well, most of them went to the 8th Air Force. 8th Air Force, yes. okay. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And did you tell them it was going to be hell? Well, they or? told them it's, you know, what they expect. Uh-huh. Yeah. So how long we, did, you, did you stay in the service, till the end of the war? I stayed until September the 22nd, 1945. It was uh, three years, nine months, 21 days. <laughs> <laughs> and I assume you were discharged at that and point? I was discharged at, at, at Arkansas. In Little, Arkansas? Little Rock, yeah. And did you then move back to Rhode Island? I back to Rhode Island. I didn't have a job. And I went to, I took the GI Bill of Rights. They, okay. pay, they paid me $135 a month to go to school, being a disabled vet. And they, and I went 30 months at Providence. I went to a trade school to become a electrician. Oh, okay. And a, an electrical contractor. Is it, and that which then I became? got a job working for the federal government. Oh, okay. Yeah. You Pretty. said you were disabled. Did you? Was well, I was. The, I, well, I, I was such terrific pains. I was getting on my forehead after breathing oxygen after two oh. or three hours, and I reported to my captain. And the captain says, "Go to the dispensary, and see what they could do for you." Uh -huh. And they put that all on paper. I so was getting right in here, right in the back. So you attribute that to yeah, being they, on they, oxygen. Uh, the VA attributed that to that. Yeah. Okay. Temper, 10% got me what I wanted. Okay. Yeah. 
Call payments on your medic <laughs> at the VA. No call payments. No call payments. In, in the 30 months of uh, trade school. Okay. You had to be a disabled vet, regardless what your percentage was. So you would so yeah. you use that to go become an electric learner, yeah. the trade? And That's right, yes. It was a good school. Good I learned school. a lot. I tell you, in my classroom, I had young, here I am, 25 years old, and I got youngsters there, 15, 14, and 13. Wow. In my classroom. Mm. Okay. But at that. Wow, well, we've, we've covered a lot. So okay. Go back in time. Okay. Um, see, you were, you, you were born in 19, you said? 1919. 1919. Yeah. So in 41, you would have been 22? 21, 22, 22 years old on that, yeah. Uh, what were you, the, the 30s before that was the Depression. What was... Uh, I was in the Civilian Conservation Corps for three, for two and a half years. The it was a CCC camp. Okay. Civilian Conservation Corps. Okay. They paid us twenty-one dollars a month. Uh huh. So when I went to the armed service, they still paid me twenty-one dollars a month, huh? but they made me a corporal after thirty days. After thirty days. Right. And I was still a corporal in combat as a waist gunner and tail gunner with seventeen missions. I still was a corporal. Because weren't they supposed to promote you to start? They did. Or? After a while, we see all these new members, all these new, you know, gig and ready uh -huh. to go in combat. They were all sergeants, staffs, and techs. Okay. They, they made us all. They always gave us a rank. Okay, good. So, um, so you were in the CCC? Yeah. Now, were you in that CCC when the war broke out? or No, I was, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 happened to get, I happened to get an honor of discharge from the CCC. From the from the from CCC camp, and uh, about a year later, probably I got a small time job, part time job. And then when the war broke, that in the nineteen okay nineteen forty one, you know. Did, at that time, did did you think we were going to go to war? It never came to my mind. No. Okay, because no. there's a lot of literature now about yeah. Japan and yeah. Germany and Mussolini and those yeah. guys. Yeah. What did when Hitler invaded Poland? Did that did that did you think anything Oh, I knew that? something was going to happen from there, yes. I knew continuation with England. And uh -huh. I know supplying the British what they wanted. And I knew damn well we were going to get into it. You, they, you knew then you were oh, going yes, to Oh, yes, I knew that, yeah. Is it, was that a common belief? Everybody, yes. Everybody thought yes, that? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. You're, I assume you're of an Italian descent? Yes, my, my, my father was born in Naples. He was a World War I veteran. He died at the age of 27, tuberculosis. Oh. I was seven years old. And there was a depression in that time. And my mother had three. And we were probably living on $5 a week. Wow. It was tough. I was only seven. I lost my father. Now, so did, do you have, did, do you or did you have relatives then over in Italy? Yes. Uh, my, my grandfather had nine brothers in Naples. Wow. And I pulled four missions over there. I was going to say, I would say did, what did you, did you? They did didn't you like me. My uncle didn't like me. Your uncle he was against like me. Because okay. my uncle John, he came from Naples too, okay. and he was a World War veteran, uh -huh. and he fought in the Turkish War. Okay. Yeah. But now he the, didn't like it. In World War One, the Italy, the Italians were on our, our, yeah, were on our, our side. Yeah, on our yes. side. Yeah. So, what did you guys think of Mussolini? I mean, he since he went to the other. I mean, I think it was nothing but garbage. I think it was something whatever he wanted. You know. Uh huh. I think it was wrong what he did. Okay. Yeah. So you did. So you ended up doing four missions to your home, your family's yeah, hometown. Yeah, Naples. Yeah. Okay. Did Did you ever hear back from any of them after? No, I never heard that. My mother went there to see her brother. My 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 sisters went to Florence uh -huh. visiting. You know, they did say what they wanted to. No, was this after the war? After the war, yes. I never did. Never did. No, I've seen enough of it from up above. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So, where did, where did you you mentioned that you went to Benghazi for some of your missions? You went to Naples. Where else did you did you fly your missions? Oh, mostly after the mostly the missions were flying like the Messina. Messina. That's in Sicily. Catania, right? Sicily. Palermo. Palermo. Sicily. Yeah. Convoys. 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 From Crete to Greece. Convoys. Fourteen ships. Destroyers. Italian fleet. We went there twice. We hit them at the convoys. Uh -huh. None of the ships got to Benghazi. Maybe one or two. So that was. But we hit a creek. The island of the creek. We hit that twice. 
Really? Yeah. Okay. My, my, my micro, of uh, my micro. Now, so the, were the ships, would you actually go to the harbor, did you bomb the harbor, or were the, we, were the we, convoys out in the ocean? Mostly to the harbor. Harbor. We never hit the cities. Okay. Just the shorelines, the harbors, the jetties. Okay. So that's what we hit. Yeah. Um, you'd mentioned that your mission was in April. The, the Lady Be Good had already been lost. The Lady then. Was Good in the month of January or February, I think. Okay, lady was I think it was April, but, but does, did, did you know that did you? Know I didn't the know crew? the crew, but I, I, I was at the runway when the ship did not come in. Did not come in. They didn't come in. One ship missing. What, what did you guys think? That, that was their first mission. That was their first mission, first right. First mission, yeah. Did I don't know who to blame. Blame the radio operator? Blame the navigator? Who do you blame? Oh, I... I I'm I, only saying who. Right. How did a ship go 450 miles into the desert? I don't know. Uh, that's it. But you, but you personally did not know them. I didn't know that. I didn't know nobody on that crew. Did it, any other? I mean, I, I assume you. There had been other missions where planes didn't come back. Oh yes, yes, yes. So this yes. Would, was not necessarily out of the ordinary that a plane. Oh, just ordinary, yes. Okay. Yeah, but shifting. Sometimes it was eight ships went to uh, Messina, six came back. Hmm. Two, okay. two, two of them were shot down, and some of the crew were picked up by the Red Cross. Okay. And the location was given by a German fighter. Oh. Okay. I think one guy was named Gafferty, the other guy, the other fellow named Ramus, I think, were the only two survival. They were POWs. Okay. When you you were a, a tail gunner, correct? Yeah, third gunners, yeah. How, uh, how many times did were you engaged oh, with a Messerschmitt or a what a Focke-Wulf or whatever? I say I say about ten times. About ten times. Yeah, about ten times. Yes. And uh, did, did you wait for them to come attacking at you, or what? Well, I never knew what came from the front because we had no protection, whatever, in the front. Remember, we didn't have no turrets in the right, front. Right, right. But I, I've seen them come back by, by, by me so fast that you could see them. But at the tail section, I could see them. Uh -huh. I could wait for them. I could notify the crew that it's 5 o'clock, 6. Okay. I could they take my time in short bursts. Uh -huh. And I, some, many times, I drove them away. Oh, okay. All I did, yeah. Good. I drove them away. You stay calm and cool, short burst. You ain't got much ammunition. Okay. Very little. How You're, many rounds did you have? I think about 300 per can, so that's about it. Per can? Yeah. And, what and was that's the, it. What was the rate of fire? Of the? Oh, you could shoot 600 in one minute. Really? <laughs> so you're talking a couple seconds 25 burst. yep. That's, that's it, with the traces uh -huh. showing. How many times you line up your gun and you see, you light, you see a Fock Wolf 190, with a, and you leave them, and you see the traces go right by the OP right over then you do the second one. You're the same. You lay them, uh -huh. and you see the traces go by. He'll peel over. Then Robert D. Long will call me on the mic. Hey, here, so you got the two spiders off our, off our tail. <laughs> I know that chick. I said, <laughs> <laughs> and my pilot keeps, Dwyer keeps saying, short burst, short, short burst. burst. He's on the ammunition. <laughs> and he kept hollering at me on that mic. Could my pilot? I huh. laugh at him. Yeah. Did Did you uh, Did you have a kill? I never killed anybody. Okay. I don't know. I seen planes go down in in sm well, in smoke. You know, I mean fighter planes. Right. But I don't. Don't know if you were the one who shot him down. Never. No. Were you able to actually see the face of the pilot? Yes. 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 One time, my guns freezed up on me, and there was a one fuck one one fuck with one ninety with a yellow nose that, section that you knew it came from the Russian front. And what I says, uh, called my crew as a fighter plane at uh, five o'clock above. Many times I aimed my guns, but they went far. So I played a spot. I faked them out. I kept moving my guns to my left, to my right, vertical up and down, move my turret, aim at him again. He could see me, I could see him, and he peeled right off. So you faked him out? So I faked him out. That's when you got a little experience in combat. Is that one of those lessons then you would? You learn the lessons, you, that's did you right. You pass it on to the guys who you were right, training? That's right, yeah. Even if you're out of bullets, keep keep, keep looking. Faking. You keep. have to. Yeah. Did, did any did any fighter not believe you? <laughs> no, <laughs> you no. A... You know, I have some fighters very close by, and I'm afraid that if I fight at this, I remember an Italian fighter, Maki, what Maki with two oh two five. He was so close to our elements, the fire. I ref, I, sh, I aimed at, but I shot in front of him. Uh -huh. I didn't want to hit the fuselage of our ships, and he peeled right off, uh -huh. and he turned off. You got to be very careful what you're doing. 
very, very careful where you shoot, mate. So I assume if you're in formation, if you weren't... Yeah, but if you're very careful. You can bounce up and down, you know. You never know what's going to happen. So what would you do if there was a... If, if you were f tracking a fighter and he flew between two... You would stop shooting? I'd stop shooting, yeah. Because you didn't want to I'm shoot the other... I'm afraid I'm going to hit him there. Let somebody else, the other formation, pick him up. Okay. Yeah. And how... You mentioned earlier there was like eight plane formation. Is that, was that Sometimes the normal Sometimes eight size? planes, six planes. Six planes? Oh, it's, it's all we had. Okay. Yeah. When did the, um, there were what, 20, 23 planes in Halpo when you That's left? That's right, when you first ran over. When did the first replacement group? I said they came, they would be coming around when we went to Palestine, now it's Israel, Israel, Palestine. I think they start coming in about the month of, uh, October, July? November, yeah, they start coming. The 98 bomb group was there. They were already there? We were, they came there in August, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And they came on our missions too, the 98 right. bomb group. They were stationed at IFA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, because you were in the 98th real short on? Most of us came from the 98. 98. Did, yeah. you, did you know any of the people? Yes, I know some of the ground crewmen. Yes, I knew some of the 98. And yeah. was, was it John Kane? Was he the yes. commanding of the 98th? Killer Kane, yes. Killer Kane? Did yeah. you know him? Uh, I never knew. I read about him. Oh, you didn't know him. No. Okay. Yeah. Now, Halverson was the, your commanding officer at first, and then he was relieved, correct? Yes. Who, who became the commanding officer then? I don't know if it was Bretton. Bretton was the general. Yeah. Was it McGuire? So McGuire. I don't know, Aberson, he left. It's, right. I got it right in here. We could tell you exactly. That's fine. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah. Now... You mentioned Brereton. Brereton came from India with some B-17s. Did you yes. fly mission with No, with I never did. The long that I know was the only one that I know. He flew, he flew, he flew in a B-17. Did you fly any missions with B-17s? Never. Never? Never. They went, to, they had the milk run. We had the oh, yeah. No, we had the milk, the, we had the milk run, they had the milk run. They went to Tobruk. We went to Benghazi. Oh, okay. The 17s always went to Tobruk. They didn't have the... The range. Oh, the range. The okay. distance to fly. Okay. Yeah. So you went on the longer. We the went longer. the longer flight to ben, ben Benghazi. Yeah. Did you ever meet any of the crew members from the seven? No, I never B17s? did. No, never had time. Okay. Yeah. Did they fly out of the same base? As same you base. Same from base. From Fayette, Egypt. Okay. Yeah. Um, interesting. How long? How long were they with you? Do you? I remember? said they, I think about the month of August. I think they they left. They relocate them elsewhere. They left us. Okay. Yeah. And after that, you we never saw them. Never, never saw them again. No. Okay. So you had replacement crews coming in August. They start September. coming in about August. I mean, it's like in September. Yes. And and then you'd mentioned that due to their inexperience, you were losing too many, too, too many. many young, yeah. And, too and many. that's when they broke. When well, they broke us up and broke up. you up. We got broke up in uh, about the end of October. Okay. They split us up. Okay. Yeah. And then your original co-pilot, Dwyer, had been Be promoted to pilot. Pilot, became a captain. Became a captain, yeah. and then you were with flu missions with all him. The all the way through. So there were some replacement crew members then that yes. you now started flying with? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I never knew the replacements were my crew, I'll be honest with you. Oh, okay. Because there were so many reemplacements coming in. So you were no longer a crew as we you originally thought? We were not like a crew, you know, like okay. we were at the beginning, when we first started. And we, we all, we've been together for 17. Then we get the reemplacements coming in. And we never flew the same ship. Okay. We never flew the same ship. Did the... I got the impression from them from what you're saying that there was a camaraderie, the fact that there was a crew. Yeah. And now there was no longer a crew. No longer a crew. Did that change the... the I dynamic? didn't like it. You didn't like no, it? No, I'd like to... If I'm you and I together, I'd like to be together, together you know, complete our time. Yeah. Is, is part of that because... If you're in the tail and I'm in the top turret, I, I know. That's why we, we know one another. Like the long top turret, the they knew exactly what you were going to do. I'm mean, good to do. Okay. Because we, we, we did rely upon each other. Each one knew his job. Uh huh. Every one of us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, say a, a given mission. When you took off, I assume you were not in the tail turret at the oh, time. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, you were. You took off in the when tail? When we took off from the mission, we were too close to the enemy line. Okay. We were locked in in a gun position the time you get to the target. Really? Okay. How about this? Now, when you come back, you're still locked in your gun position while you're making a landing. Really? Why the Germans would follow us at, at, at nighttime or dusk. 
Really? Yeah. So the Germans would follow you back to the That's base? right. Really? Well, that's right. That's a hell of a feeling being locked up in the tail section while they're making a, th a three-wheel landing. I, w I would have <laughs> imagined that. Bouncing, you? yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, you no coffee break. There's no, no coffee break? Nothing at all. How long were your missions? Oh, 12 Time hours, 10 hours, 14 hours, 12 and a half hours, 13, depends. Well, if you're going to uh, Tunis, uh -huh. it depends if you're going to Palembo, if you're going to Naples, it depends the distance. So you were 10 hours in this little... 10 hours, yeah, locked in. Can I, I, how did you go to the bath? Did you it, have to go... No, no such thing as a bathroom. You didn't go to the bathroom, you just no. went in your seat? Yeah, I'll tell you, you one to? thing, the temperature's 40, 50 below zero. You ain't got time to... You haven't got time to, to think to about it? They'll freeze up on you. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Believe me, I'm telling so you. So you truth. spent 10 hours locked up locked in, your, in in the in gun your, position. Was that yes. true of the top turret you died the too? The top turret, he was the engineer, the engineer. He was probably the same thing, yes. Yeah. Now, what did. The waste gunners were there all the time. They were at the waste. Now, the waste were open, but they the, were. The waste were right open, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We had no ball turret. You had a tunnel, right? Nothing or, at all. Nothing, nobody no, was no, shooting at the bottom of the plane? Nothing in the bottom. Seven man crew. Did remember, the jury, remember, the navigator in the bomber day was one. One, one person. One person. So the, the, the navigator fired the guns out. There were two guns in yeah, the front end, right? Yeah, they were fixed out in the windows, on um, the left side, right inside. And the, and the navigator bombardier fired them? If, if, they, if they could fire. If they, oh, if they if could. If they could. Because you mentioned they froze up. They froze up, yeah, man. They had no firepower in the front. Okay. When they came through the front, I'm in the back, and I can see all parts of planes flying back, me. pieces of metal planes, and I know something is happening. Then you see these fighters come right by you. You don't have a, you don't even have a, to get your guns and fire them. Right. They're going around 350. You're going around 200, 225, and you can see them. Yeah. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. <laughs> I'm telling you. What was, so if there were eight, say eight B-24s on a mission, how yeah. many fighters would you Normally well, we're probably at three or four. Three two, or four. Three or four. At the convoy, we hit about four when we, when we went after the convoy. Uh -huh. Mostly with JU 88s, long range fighters. Okay. JU 88 fighters. That was the twin, in, was that twin, twin engine? Twin engine fighters, yes. They were the convoys. Okay. Yeah. Um, did the convoys, obviously at a land target, there would be flak. Did the convoys shoot back at shoot a lot at you? Of, a lot of the aircraft, the end aircraft was heavy. Heavy? Very heavy, yes. Okay. They had four destroyers and about 13, 14 ships uh -huh. for supplied the German army. Troop ships, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. So they were firing their NA. Oh, they're very heavy. We we're only 17,000. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty, pretty low. Yeah. But there were a lot of direct hits. They knocked, two, they knocked two warships out of commission. They turned around and went back to Italy where they came from. Uh huh. Yep. Well, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so you're. You're locked in this tail turret and you're bouncing around when the flak is coming and That's the fighters right. are zooming in and That's out. That's right, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't mind fi uh, the fighters, but flak was the, the, what we worried about, flak. You were more, you were more worried about the flak? Yes. Oh, okay. We had one mission, a night mission of Benghazi, nighttime. Yeah. It was a sixth mission on a Saturday. We, we hit the target at 12 o'clock. You know, we, we, the ground lights picked us up. We made about a half a dozen... Well, let's say four to six, drop one. We had about four runs over the target. Uh -huh. They picked us up. They locked in on us, ground lights. Uh -huh. You want to see the stuff they sent up and that, in those searchlights, uh -huh. they looked like Fort of July. At daytime, a flag, anti-aircraft, is a nothing but a big black puff of smoke. Okay. And the ship will bow, you can okay, woof, woof. At nighttime, a big boil of orange, red. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like fireworks. And you see so many of them coming up. And could we, you see them coming up? Oh, yeah. You could really? See them. Oh, my God. And the ship was bouncing all over that damn place. We had about 23 shrapnel holes in the plane. We came back. That seems like a lot. We had a lot of shrapnel holes, yeah. Did the, could you hear the shrapnel coming? Did any of them ever come? No, I never turret? heard that. No, not in the rear, no. Okay. But I tell you, those night, night missions, it was wonderful. You don't see too many fighters. Once in a while, you see a fighter coming through. And they probably overpass you, uh -huh. and then you don't see them. N night fighter. Yeah. Now, when you were doing the convoy missions, you were in support of the 
the British Eighth Army? Usually the British Army would tell us exactly did the, everything. Did you ever get thank yous from the British at all for what you guys were doing, or did you just well, take I, it I, as? I know, I, I got along very, we got along very good with the ground crew, uh -huh. the New Zealanders, Australians, Scotch, Welsh, Irish, you name it, English. We got along good with them. They were our ground crew. So the, the maintenance of the airplanes was what were mostly ground crew. Was yes, not by Americans. Not by we didn't have any. We didn't even really? have a, any kind even to pump the gasoline into the wing tanks. We had to do it by hand. How would you like to have ten gallon uh, ten ten gallons of pe Sunday pails of ten gallon pails of gasoline and add one to the other and and fill it up and fill up. That's the, how you filled the airplane. Fill up, up. yeah. I did not with know. a with a strainer and fill it up. Wow, that's a lot of gasoline. A lot of ten gallon. Cans to lift up. Right. You see, we uh, the, the engineer worried about the gasoline and oil. Uh -huh. Gasoline and oil. That was the main thing on a plane. Yeah. Okay. Now, did you was your job to make sure you had the ammunition filled? Oh yeah, for your my gun? job. I always had plenty of ammunition. And make sure your gun works. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. You you mentioned the the guns fro freezing up. I yeah. heard that before. Was that because of the oil freezing? Oil congealed. Uh, yeah, oil. The oil froze. And we were being told to use kerosene. Uh -huh. From there on, we didn't have many, many, uh, much of a problem, but some problems. But it only happened to me. It happened to so many. It happened. But it never happened to you. The freezing. It did happen. Oh, it did twice. happen. Yes, I report. You... I reported. Okay. I did. How long did it take you guys to figure out what what to do about it? We found out. It didn't take long to find out that to get rid of the oil. Get the don't use oil on your on your guns. Guns. Use kerosene. Use kerosene. Yeah. Uh, about what altitude would you said you were flying missions at seventeen thousand? Is that what the guns would freeze up at seventeen thousand? No, it's flying the 21, 22, 24, 27, 000. Oh, okay. So we're flying that high. So on the on the low low, low levels, low levels I meant seventeen thousand. But they probably were frozen. But Tiny they probably company, were still frozen. Yeah. Okay. How long would? I guess they would never thaw out by the time. No, no. You could shoot them on the ground. Wonderful. But when you're up there, what the hell is it? <laughs> You see, we had an emergency button on the floor. Uh -huh. If the guns did not fire, we had a button on the floor. You could step your foot on it and fire the guns. We had a button on the floor wide to the, to the two, two caliber 50 machine guns. Okay. If the, the triggers didn't work, we stepped on that, step on that toggle switch. Would that, would it cause them to fire? But they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, that didn't work either. Didn't work at all. So you had two means of firing the That's guns. That's right, yeah. Triggers and then the selector. That's right, yeah. Would, did the waste gunners in the top turret have that same problem with the guns freezing up? I believe so, yeah. Maybe, uh, not okay. pretty sure they did too. Yeah. So the, you were flying D models, right? The, you yeah, B-24D. Okay, so you had two machine guns in the nose, then you had the top turret. Two in the top and two in the waist. Two in the, one each on each side and then... Two in the front, but they were useless. Right, but you had nothing on the bottom. Nothing at the bottom. Did the Germans figure out that they came at you from the well, bottom? Well, they probably knew that. They probably knew that. They probably knew that. I'm not sure they did. So they, they knew were, exactly where they come through the front all the time. Right. No firepower. The only firepower you had was the upper turret. Was the firing forward. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So the Germans discovered they very knew early that. to come, oh, sure. come straight did. on. Yeah. Did you feel kind of helpless? Because you, because you couldn't shoot forward. I couldn't shoot back. Nothing you could do. Nothing you, you could do. Yeah. They just come by you, and you look at them. You can see the plane. You can see the pilot. So if, if DeLong was up in the top turret, would he, he probably get a good shot at it? Yes. Would, would he yell at you? There's a plane come, going to come flying by you. No, he never told me about never it. Never told you. No, never told me about it. Okay. All I could see is uh, pieces of sh aircrafts, pieces coming by <laughs> me. Pieces of your airplane yeah. flying of by. other planes, you know. Other planes. Yeah. What did you see? It, did you see any river on missions when one of the B twenty when when one of the U S B twenty fours went down? Did no, I, I've seen them get attacked by fighters. They probably were maybe about a mile, two miles away from us, and so, I I've seen them get attacked, and they probably hit, got hit by any aircraft by you know by, and uh, somehow our formation flight slowed down, and he managed to pick up. Okay. And we give them more firepower. Sure. But okay. I've never seen any of our ship, my, any ship of mine's going down. Go down. But I know, I know a lot of my friends, a sure. lot of the pilots. When I came back, then 
seen them get shot down. Now, did you ever keep up with uh, with Sermon Brown after, after yes, the war? Yes, with Sermon Brown. I, I, I went to see DeLong at his house in, 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 Florida, in Tampa, Florida. So you, you maintained a relationship I, with your Yes, crew? I did. I maintained quite a, uh, with me, I could, with him. Noel, yeah. Noel me, okay. But I didn't, was well, naturally with, with your crew, you know? Yeah. That's where you probably spend most of your time with. But sometimes you're with other crews. Sure. And you're having a good time, you're dancing, you're women, you know? And you're in the same, sleep in the same quarters. But they go on a mission, they don't make it back to the base. And that's what gets you. Gets you. They got one, two, three, four empty cots. Empty. All been shot down over the Mediterranean. So one, one night before a mission, you were out drinking. And the next day, they, next they're, day not, they're not there. They're not there. Yeah. So how did you deal with that? Yeah, just go to town and meet yourself another woman. Get a few drinks. Whatever, you know. Get your three-day pass. Move on. Then you come back, you're on a mission. Okay. So that I'll say it, t 10 hours of this excitement of being on this mission, and then you go, I hate to use party, but go That's right, drinking. forget about it, yes. Yeah. And that was pretty much what life was like? That's okay. right. You know what I liked about when we came back from a mission, we had to be brave. But I, no, every time we were brave, they won everything. But on that table, there was always a two or three bottles of brandy. Really? Something to give you, something that drink, yes. So as soon as you come back yeah, from the mission. Yeah, it's on the table, yeah. There's always something there, yeah. Did they, did they brief, debrief the crew as a group? As a group. As a group? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was talking with Al Story, who was also one of the HAL Pro, yeah. and he was talking about the fact that the officers lived one way and the enlisted men lived another way. Is that, yes, was that your did. experience yes. too? Yes. Yes, they did. They had, well, look, they were officers. They got the cream of the crop, the cream of the women. They got everything. Uh -huh. We still, when we went to uh, uh, Israel and Palestine, we still had muskets. Uh -huh. They had dishes and tables. Yeah, they had dishes they and had forks and knives. Oh, okay. We went to Tel Aviv in, 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 in Palestine. Uh -huh. okay. So did you spend a lot of time in Tel Aviv? Yes, uh, we spent there, yeah, until the... Until about the month of uh, the end of October. So you were you you going from back July, to August, September. Yeah. Halper went to Fayad. Yeah. And then you pulled back to Lydia. Uh, back to Lydia. 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 Then back to Fayad. And then back to Fayad. Yeah. So while you were in Lydia, that's when you went to Tel Aviv a lot. Oh yes, it was only twenty miles. Twenty a miles. Short distance. And that was called Palestine. It was a brand new city, beautiful. And that was called Palestine at the time, no, right? No, no. It was no. Looking forward 50 years, was the, was the, what, did you sense the, 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 the animosity between the Arabs and the Jews at the time? There, there was a big problem going then between the Arabs and the Jews. So and there was yes, a problem there were, back Yes, there were, yes. Yeah. Now, the, at that time, Britain ran Palestine, correct? Yes, right, yeah. Uh, during that war time, there were more women, more females in the armed forces. I was speaking of Jewish girls uh -huh. in, in, in Palestine. But there was not the, but the males did not were in the service, and they were drinking, having good times, and the, the Australians didn't like that, and the Zealands didn't like that. They'd been there for three or four years. Uh -huh. They still, well, the reason they didn't join the service, they didn't have a country. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the Zealand, but the New Zealands, Australians will grab them by the neck and kick the hell. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, that uh, they're fighting for them. Sure. Yeah. So did you? Did you meet a lot of Jews or a lot of Arabs? I met a lot of Jews, very friendly Jews. Yes, I, communi I communicate with with some of the uh, with some of the people there today. Uh, no, not in. They're oh. all gone. Oh, in okay. 19, uh, uh, 19, uh, 46, 47, 47. 48. So yeah. you still communicate with people you met? Yeah, I'm, yeah. How did they treat you? Very good. Very yes, good. Yes, very good. Yeah. Did the Arabs treat you the same way? No, no? they were more friendly with the with the Germans and the. Really? With the Germans in there with us. So the Arabs favored the Germans yes, and they the do. Jews favored the, That's right. the, yeah. the Allies. Yeah. Okay. Now, did you go to Cairo? When you were in Egypt, did you go to Cairo at all? Or yes, I've been there. Yes. I went to Cairo. Which did you prefer, Cairo or Tel Aviv? Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv? When I went to Cairo, I met someone I didn't believe. I met my brother-in-law my brother -in, in Cairo. 
You met your brother yeah, in Tyrone? Yeah, he was Tyrone? on one side of the street, and I'm the other side of the street. He was with the 98 Bomb Group. I'm, the, I'm with really? the Alpro. They came in the end of August, they came in 98. Did you know he was in the night? Did you know he was in? I didn't know he was you in the You didn't even know that? No, he no. just suddenly, there's your brother-in-law? That's right. We met a couple of girls from Malta. We danced with Jitterbug, uh -huh. and we had a few drinks. And he, he went, went his way. direction, I went my direction. W was he also on a crew? He was a, a ground man. Ground man? Yeah, ground man. So I take it he probably stayed there. He stayed until 45. 40. He stayed until, yeah. So he was there the whole time the and whole you got time. to go come That's home. That's right, yeah. Did you, did you make joke about the fact that you got to go home and he had to stay there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, many of the ground men complained that we're getting three day pass. Yeah. When we got 14, we had a 14, 14 days furlough with, with Padim. Uh huh. They didn't like the idea, so the commanding officer got everybody on the airfield and told them, which one of you want to change places with the airmen? Change places with these crews. Yeah. Not one of them lift up their hand. Not one to. You're okay. speaking about 12, 1,300 men, you know? Yes. Not one. So they were, they were, they didn't like the fact that you got your three-day passes, didn't like the but idea. they weren't about no, to go fly they didn't like it, no. Huh. No. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So you maintained contact with some of your crew after the war. Yes, I did. Brown yeah. and DeLong. DeLong. Meek. Uh, uh, Meek. I, I maintained Barron until 1998. Uh, That's James Barron? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Barron and Williams. And we, they, those, they were also in your crew? They were, my, they were on different crews. Different crews, yes. okay. Williams got shot down. Barron bailed out. Yeah, yeah, there's so many stories with them. Ah, yeah. okay. They hit a, we're coming back from a mission, they hit a barrage balloon. They hit a... Oh, the Suez Canal. Who did? Uh, uh, Barano. Barano and they had to bail crew? out the ship, yeah. They had to bail out? Except the pilot. The pilot took the ship in. Was Siebert their pilot? I, or who was their pilot? Do you remember? I don't know Siebert. Because I don't know Siebert or what. But anyway, they hit a barrage balloon? They hit a barrage head, knocked the tail section off. Part, oh I mean, God. the wing section, part of it. And all six members bailed out. I said, well, Barano, what happened? He said, before I hit the ground, they took my parachute off my back. Before they hit the ground? Yeah. Hit In the other ground. words, they wanted that parachute so bad, it's silk. They make wedding gowns out of them. He oh, 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 oh. He landed in, he landed in uh, some section near Ca uh, Nicaro. Oh. Something like that. Yeah. So the, 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 the locals stole his oh, parachute? Oh, yeah, yeah. They didn't give him time in the backyard. <laughs> 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 he told me that story a number of times. So Barano's crew hit a barrage balloon. Yeah. Was, was there a lot of barrage balloons? Oh, they were all the, all the way up. Really? Oh, yeah. They were up to three, four, five thousand 5,000 feet high. Was this because of the, the Germans following you Follow, back? The Germans were dropping minefields in the canal. In the canal. Uh-huh. The, the Suez and, Canal? Yeah, in the Suez Canal. And naturally, those barrage balloons had fragmentation bombs every so many feet uh -huh. attached to the cable. Did... did did the Germans lose many fighters? Or? I never know about that. Uh, never knew. No. The was only time I've seen fighters, any fighters being destroyed is when uh, they came over and bombed, trying to bomb uh, one of the bases. The night fighters will go up, they'll knock a couple of, probably knock two German fighters down, shoot them right down. Uh, did, uh, you mentioned the anti aircraft at Benghazi. Did, did, was there any aircraft? Guns around your base? Around None at all. None, None whatever. We never have further protection. we always been told, you do the best you know how to get home. You're okay. on your own. Never try the protection. Nope. No. So nobody, you, you were not at risk of being shot down by, your own, by enemy fire? No, no. Coming back. Once we were coming, over the, coming back to the base, I believe it was about a half a dozen planes took off from Malta. Uh -huh. And they came up, they thought we, we were enemy an enemy aircraft, and the pilot shot the, flare, uh, the days of the flares, the colors of the day, with double red. Mm -hmm. And then the fighters all peeled off. Okay. We had another plane, a LB-30, it, it was a Liberator, right. flying up above us, and uh, everybody shooting at him. And he, sh and he kept shooting the flares off, and, they, the, uh, and the, everything came over the, uh, at the, uh, the pilot called everybody and said, stop your firing, stop your firing. Yeah. We stop our firing. Yeah. Hmm. You shoot anything you see, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask about was the original HALPRO mission, you had mentioned that four planes had gotten 
uh, landed in Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. Uh, about 10 guys took a plane and escaped. Yeah. They, they get very friendly with the Turks. They stole a few gallons of gasoline here and there, fill up their planes, and somehow they managed to, at the right time, they took off. Did, you ever, did you ever meet any of those? No, I never met them, no. Never, never met Story, them. Story, he went home. They, they told me, you want to go back to the base? Yeah. Or you want to go back home? You were talking to me. He yeah. said, I want to go back, go back home. home. I don't blame him. We'll get no, no, him. I understand. I don't blame him. But did you guys, at, when you were flying mission, did you hear about their escapade? Or, or did you not find out until after the war that they had escaped by the exploit that you described, that taking the plane? And uh, no, we knew it then. You knew it then? We knew it then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was there in 43. Because yeah, Al, knew it. if I remember right, Al didn't, they were returned in May of 43, because yeah. he would have, you yeah. would have been gone. They came, then. I think that they, they came December 1942 yes. from Turkey. Yes. Yeah. So. They came. So you knew then that some knew of them, then, yes. that they had escaped. Yeah. Did you all applaud? And well, we seen them, that's about it, you know. That's okay. about it. But they had a good vacation there from... <laughs> from June to December. <laughs> Meals are paid for. <laughs> wow, because they were still on combat pay, right? Yes, they were on combat pay, flying pay, everything. Yeah, yeah. okay. Overseas duty, yeah, they were. Okay. Yeah, now you know, yeah that's funny, you know? The years have gone by, but I still could picture these men, my buddies, in my mind. They never seem to go away, like those who I've been with and those that didn't make it back home. Uh -huh. It stays with you until you're gone. I would imagine. It will stay with you, yeah. I was trying to remember, did, yeah. if you, do you have a crew photo? A picture of your crew as a group? I have pictures with the, with the maybe I will send them to you. It's a group where we stayed with two crews to a hut, and we and we fought, uh, there's about uh, eight men to a group. Uh -huh. But I don't, the names, maybe you know. one or two or three. That's like a group, like two groups to a hut. Like a Luke wants in a hut. Yeah. Yeah, we were. Because I've, I've seen that. Did you get to wrap? Okay, do you have anything else you'd like to? No, I don't add? think. I, I, I think you said it all. Okay. Yeah, so. Well, it was quite, a, quite an honor to, to chat with you about well, this. And, this um, you can have. You're going to find a lot of information. These are my rest of my, the rest of my missions. Okay. This is something 1942 you can have. It's, this is Lieutenant Ken. And this is, and this is Dudwire, and this is everything about every mission of uh, Delong. Oh, that's Delong's time, diary. pay, everything. See it? Excellent. Okay, you can have it. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, that's good then. Right there.